Learning target two, evaluate relationships in function notation through substitution and by graph. Um, and so this is probably the part that um, will look the most different to you guys. Um, not that it is different, just that it looks different. Um, and so the first, the reason that it looks different is because now we're going to start writing things in function notation, what's called function notation, um, which is basically just a notation where a function is named um, with some letter, usually f, and the input is shown in parentheses after the function name. And so we've got an example down here. Um, we've got f parentheses x. So f is our function. f is the function. And x, and we know that from learning target one, this is just the input. This whole thing right here then, this whole f of x, took the spot of y. And we always knew that y was the output. So this whole thing put together is the output. So for example, f parentheses x equals 4x plus 1. That function represents the function y equals 4x plus 1. And f is the name of the function. So we've got f as the name of the function, the whole thing we call that, we usually read this f of x, um, which is pretty much just short for function of x, and we just happen to call the function f. Um, so we've got a function of x, f of x equals 4x plus 1. In other words, we are saying that the output, we also call that the output, the output is equal to 4 times the input plus 1. So x stays our input, it's just that now instead of a y we're putting f of x here instead. So again just one more time, um, f of x that means function of x where x is our input and in, in the way that we've defined this function, this function f of x is 4x plus 1. 4 times the input plus 1 equals the output. Um, and then we can do different things with functions in function notation. So going from something that we've seen lots and lots of times before, which is just a very standard equation here, we could graph it, we could um, plug in different values for x and y, we could do all those different things. Um, we have y equals 2x plus 4, and we are going to write that in function notation. This is a function of x. y is a function of x, so we are just going to replace y with f of x equals 2x plus 4. y was our output f of x is our output. x was our input, x is still our input. This means the function of x, f of x, equals 2 times x, 2 times the input, plus 4. Um, this right here, we read that as f of 3. And basically all that means is evaluate this function when x equals 3. Because all we've done is we've taken f of x and we've replaced x with a 3. So that's all I'm going to do over here on this right side as well. I'm going to take the right side and I'm going to go 2 and instead of a x I'm going to write a 3 plus 4. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10. So f of 3 equals 10. Um, in this next 
little example here, we're going to talk about evaluating functions um, off of a graph. Um, and if you look at this graph down here, this red line, we don't have just one equation for it. Um, I mentioned in class, I think on, on Tuesday, that, um, that functions can be written in like a bunch of different pieces. Um, that's not something we need to know for now, but this is one of those examples. Um, so here's our function, this f of x. Um, again, we aren't given any sort of rule or equation, but we can still use this graph of f of x to evaluate at certain points. So for example here on the graph below, the point at x equals 4, so we're looking here at x equals 4, has the coordinates 4, comma, and where we would usually, <clears throat> excuse me, where we'd usually put a y value, um, we replace with f of 4, which is essentially the same thing as the y value. So you look here for where x equals 4, you follow it up on the graph, on the graph at x equals 4, y equals 1. So at 4 comma f of 4, that's actually the same thing as 4 comma 1, because f of 4 equals 1. The value of y when x is 4, we call that f of 4. The value of y here is 1, so we just write it as 4 comma 1. Now, um, f of 2, it says, is 4. f of 2 means when x equals 2. y is f of 2. And it's saying that that is 2, and f of 2 is 4. So we can check that. Let's go here for when x equals 2. Up on the line there, at x equals 2, y equals 4. Um, and so 2 comma 4 is this point. That means f of 2 does in fact equal 4. Um, in this next part, what is f of 6? All we have to do is look for on the graph where x equals 6. At x equals 6, y equals 2. Um, and we can actually get used to not, not calling this y anymore. Um, we can call this the f of x axis instead of the y axis um, just because y and, and f of x are essentially the same thing. Um, so we can call this the f of x axis. So when f of, x, f of 6, that's 6 comma f of 6, which if we look at 6, we're at 2 on the f of x axis. So this is 6 comma 2. Now this, this last question here um, is, a, is a little bit more difficult. Um, we're looking for two values, two x values with an output of 1. Okay, so we're looking for if this were in a table, x, f of x, we're looking for two values that will give us one. So essentially what we're looking for is where is this red line one on the f of x axis? Well, we already know one of them is right here at four. And we know another one, it looks like it's one right about here. That's right about nine point, I don't know, two. We'll call it 9.2. So the two values which f of x equals one are f of four equals one and f of 9.2 also equals one. Okay, those are our two values. Again, f of x, that's essentially y. That's what you're used to seeing as y. We'll get used to calling it f of x, um, but traditionally in, in, in all of your other math classes, you've called it y. So if you want to think of it that way, we're looking for where y 
equals 1. And it equals 1 at these two green points there. So your before class, um, you're basically evaluating a whole bunch of these different things. Um, remember, f of x on a here, we're replacing x with 4. So you're looking for where x equals 4. f of 6, you're looking for where x equals 6. Um, C and D, you're looking for when f of x equals 2. In other words, what value of x, what value of x makes f of x equals to, equal to 2. Okay? Um, and then that last question, how many values make the statement f of x equals 0? So we're looking for how many different, um, how many different values have f of x equal to 0 on this graph.